ever just a little bit confused about which services county governments offer and which services they don't? That's because instead of cutting open the road to lay the sewer pipe, they'll dig down beneath it. Drum roll, please. So even bags like this can fly right out the back. Fire. These are old ledgers. This is a sales book. Your county's always changing. That means there's always something new to talk about, like a new veterans clinic being built in Rock Hill. We'll have local access to specialty clinics. It'll open in the fall on Lakeshore Parkway. Or thanks to federal COVID relief money, first responders are better prepared to help you in an emergency. County fire departments got new life-saving defibrillators and Lucas devices that do chest compressions. We took you inside a new factory opening in Fort Mill that makes doors. And we spent some time outdoors this year too, reporting on the first ever event at Catawba Bend Preserve. Cross country teams from every school in the county competing on a frosty October morning. It's a really beautiful area. We took a look at what's manufactured right here in York County, like drills and custom wheels, and discovered lots of businesses are growing. And with growth comes the need for better infrastructure. So you saw several stories this year about massive new sewer line projects underway in Fort Mill and Lake Wiley. No, not every story we did was welcome news, of course. You now have thousands of dollars of trees to replace on your property in addition to a $500 fine. Our planning department told us how illegal tree clearing on Lake Wiley has become a big problem. Some homeowners and contractors are ignoring the protective 50-foot tree buffer around the lake. At the landfill, they're cracking down on people who don't secure their trash, and it ends up spread all over our highways. We also detailed new fee changes at Ebenezer Park. I went straight back to using. Sadly, 2022 saw a huge number of deaths from drug overdoses. We introduced you to a former addict who found help at Keystone and got clean after nearly dying from taking fentanyl. We had a lot of good news to share from County Council. There is nothing like being outside and getting a fresh lunch from a food truck. Zoning and land use codes were updated for the first time in 40 years. Those new codes now allow food trucks, backyard chicken coops, and tattoo and body piercing shops as well. We brought you stories laying out the specifics on all of them. Our county council also worked to build community by supporting local charities, providing bikes for homeless men to reach their jobs, vegetable gardens to battle food insecurity, and helping a local crisis pregnancy center. Mineral spirits. We also took some time for fun encouraging you to come out and drop off hazardous materials at the landfill, head to Brattonsville and watch sheep lose their coats. And we even learned you can adopt a stream to protect the environment. Now that's a deal! In the fall, we launched Walk and Talk, a monthly series of short videos introducing you to our county employees. Great. It is great. There's a lot more, of course, but that's a healthy chunk of the York County news, information, and special reports we brought you in 2022. There's much more to come.